Tesh, how are you all? So what I for you today? So at the background, you can see one simplified data source. But what's the context today? So today we have a story. So again, we have Mr. Lakshman with us. And you can see there are different certifications that I've completed. Specialist, our certified associate and all. So Lakshman is from the team. He's from the proctor's team who would take your examination as well, right? So nice to see all my certification, but today I'm looking forward to help this team which conducts the examination. So this is the data source. I already simplify that you can see at the bottom left hand side. So it would have day one, you know, how many candidates appeared for the examination activities like TD, SS, Tableau, Desktop uh, Specialist. So these are the categories. Uh, did you get pass or not? P, column, dollar amount, you know, how much you paid for that very particular certification and mode whether it was classroom, tableau conference or online. So, yes, so so I have also appeared for the examination. So they, so Lakshman is from the Proctor's team and he wants uh, to get insight from this very particular data set that you see at the background. So what are the questions that he is having? And since he is new to Tableau, he is not able to create that report. So what are the challenges for him for a newcomer? Like, so I'm making this for, for the people who think that LOD is a, is a big thing to start with. It's not. So now, now the questions are with this sort of data set. The questions are at what hours are there are maximum number of students sitting so that we can allocate more proctors. That means this is the hour like 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12 p.m. So there are different slots over there. So if you get to know that at what, you know, uh, is it like 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., you know, what are the time slots where you have maximum number of candidates so that you can allocate more proctors? So that's the question number one. So I need, so for example, 10 a.m. We have two for, for I, this sample data set is only for two days. So 10 a.m. You get two entries, 11 a.m. There are two entries, 12 one entries and 13 one entry. That's what we want. So that is the first question. Second question, total certifications per day. And I want only pass day one. There are two people who passed. Okay. Second day, there, there is a one person who passed. Okay. Third one, create a dual access graph like this one uh, with certification amount per day and average amount by mode per day. That means per day you get this amount $800. If you go back to the very particular 800 and 100 plus 200 plus 300 plus 200 is equal to 800. But at the same time, I want to know the average and that average is not divided by four that average is divided by distinct number of modes that is classroom, Tableau conference and online. So that would be 800 divided by three. And the solution, if you see 800 divided by three is 266.7. So these are the questions for Lakshman, but he is new to LOD function. So let us see what is this LOD function. So LOD function is nothing but um, just imagine or just think like this that level of detail right your data set may have n number of details but it's up to you to decide up to which level you want to drill down to a time will go down to millisecond microseconds nanoseconds this is my oh my opposite <laughs> but it's up to me right if this second you would have seen the watches where you don't have this second needle or hand so you don't need it generally, right? If I want to tell somebody time, I won't tell the second part, right? So in some of the, and also some people don't, they don't like this tick tick sound. So they don't want this needle. So although time unit will can go down to millisecond, microsecond, nanosecond, but what I have drawn to my view, that depends, you know, that, that decide my level of detail. Same for Tableau as well. So if you, if you go to the, any, um, any sheet, tableau sheet, right? And even this one, right? Once I have uh, got the dollar amount or anything over there, like number of records, it's up to you what you are bringing to the table more. If I bring more to the table, then it will, uh, the level of detail is more over here. So right for classroom, there are one record for, it depends. If I bring something else over there like day, then the level of detail is day for you. One thing to notice over here is whenever you are trying to drag any dimension, you do you notice that 
when i am trying to drag you can see this orange boundaries over there or border color size text detail tool tip so these are the components of tableau which are deciding the level of detail right these are the components so once your level of detail is set over there for example if i just go back and talk about this one so it's set it's according to the mode my level of detail is mode but if i want to witness or if i want to see something else some other level of detail without disturbing the view that i have then it will be difficult because it's already set over there right so that's what the problem with lakshman also so this is the basic definition that i have given you for the level of detail with my clock and with my clock also i can show you that okay we do have uh, you know no second hand well we don't need it right and you can see again the red borders over there these are the components of tableau which will determine the level of detail so in this case if i just go with the questions and the questions are at what hours so you can see the data source the data source actually the data source is this one right so i have dragged day name and hours over there so that you you know that what are the components or dimensions which are determining the level of detail over here so at what hours there are maximum number of student so with the very first question i want r right i i want to fix r and uh, so that we can alloc allocate more proctors at 10 a am how many students are coming overall from top to bottom so i have the solution for you like this one for 10 am we have two for 11 am also we have two for 12 we have one irrespective of the the level of detail so it so you have three level of details over there so if i just talk about uh, the level of details you have fixed you have include and you have exclude fixed level of detail expression com computer value using the specified dimension without reference to the dimension in the view so if i just talk about the first one that is certification at particular r i just i can just open this and i can show you that this is the syntax i want to fix r i want to get the sum of number of records you know how many people have appeared so it's simple fixed r i am fixing r and getting the sum of number of records so that is helping me to get 2211 at 10 am okay to overall it is 1 plus 1 2 at 11 am 11 am 11 am to 2 12 there is only one and uh, 13 there is only one so with the fixed one we have got that one now going to the second question that says the total certification per day you know we we, we want to get the pass number of pass candidates per day that means i want to get the sum of this 1 plus 1 first day to second day that is 1 so basically if you just go to your view and if i see that view i just want i just want day wise right i i don't want name and r so in other words i want to exclude name and r Le exclude level of detail expression declare dimension to omit from the view level of detail in order to get in order to get the number of past candidates per day at my view level if i just go back to my tableau view i don't want name and r over there right i just want day because i'm saying that past per day so name and r i, r I don't want so that's why i can exclude name and r over there so i just can just go back to my solution and see how did i get that certification pass per day certification pass per day so what i'll do from my view i'm excluding name and r so that helps me to get the sum of p how many passed okay first day if you if i just go back to my i can see that one and two two passed second day only one passed so i'm getting that first day 2 2 2 2 second day 1 1 last but not the least i want something else now i have a simple graph where which shows day 1 and day 2 sum of dollar how much pro, how much tableau is earning or whatever per day so you can say 800 dollar and 400 dollar which is nothing but the sum of 100 plus 200 plus 
for the day one 800 and 400 but at the same time what i want is the i want to include something over there which is not there at my view level so if i go to hint include level of detail expressions compute values which using the specified dimension in addition so whatever we have at the view level we want to include something out of that so let's get to the third one third one what we are doing the question is create a dual access graph with certification amount per day and average amount by mode per day so if you just go see this very particular view we don't have mode but we have mode at our data source level but we don't have it over there and we want to get that we want the effect of that very particular column or dimension right so in this case we want to include something which is not there at our view level so if i just go back to the hint include level of uh, detail expression compute values using the specified dimension in addition to whatever dimension there are in the view okay so the outcome outcome of this very particular calculation would be first would be that the same thing that you already have over there 800 and 400 which is simple you get it 800 and 400 but the second one is 800 divided by 3 why 3 because for the day one you have classroom tableau conference and online so there are three different modes only distinct number of modes the second one is only one mode that is online the first one would be 800 by 3 and second one would be 400 by 1 so that's why if you see the solution over there you have the same thing 400 but here you have 800 divided by 3 which is 266.7 so in this case we are going to exclude so let's see how we are excluding sorry including <laughs> we are going to include not exclude so how we are including include just you have to just include mode and you have to give sum of dollar and after that that don't forget to make it average average turn this to average right so now we have got the answers over there and uh, this is the basic level lod introduction to lod so if someone asks you any question about lod during your interview you say yes i have done lod and i have done all the three right technically i have done but i would suggest you to go and i'll paste some of uh, the advanced lod calculation links at my youtube description so just go and practice more kyunki apna time aayega bye kyunki data hi data hai kya tumko sab kuch aata hai bye bye see you see you soon